Welcome back to Full Stack Demo Day 2017. Well, April 3rd, 2017. And uh, I'm back here with myself, Nimit Maru, and we're going to be bringing in Full Stack's Chicago campus. And um, led there by a great team of Nick Drain, Connie Lee. And uh, is Tom going to be there today too? Tom will not be here today. Okay. So led by Nick and Connie Lee. And we're really excited over here to see the projects in Chicago. Um, Chicago is, uh, Nick, why don't I let you introduce Chicago class? Yeah. So hello from Chicago. Uh, my name is Nick Drain. I'm the instructor of the senior cohort over here. Um, Chicago is essentially the exact same curriculum as we have in New York. Um, same instructors, same everything. Um, so we've got some awesome presentations today. I can't wait to begin. Um, so do you mind if I introduce the first one? I don't mind at all. Go ahead. All right. We're excited to see it. <laughs> so they've made a whimsical party game um, that's already become a favorite among our, among our cohort. Um, I'm particularly proud of this group for managing complex game logic over sockets while maintaining a really simple, elegant, and polished user experience. Um, so before I give too much away, let's just give it up for Drockward. Hello. And thank you for joining us. My name is Alexia, and these are my teammates, Christine and Rob. When we were first designated to work together, my teammates and I soon discovered that we had a problem, namely that we were all just a little artistically challenged. But being the positive problem solvers that we are, we decided to create a platform for awkward artists like ourselves to be able to draw and have fun without judgment. So today we are proud to present to you Drawkward, casual games for awkward artists. Inspired by the popular game Drawful, Drawkward is a multiplayer, real-time drawing game that can accommodate users of 4 to 14. To develop this application, we developed two independent applications, a web app and a native iOS app that communicate via WebSockets to make sure that we have a high-speed communication during gameplay. To play, a group of artists will need to download the mobile app onto their individual devices and have one single device running the web app. Now to walk us through some gameplay, here's Rob. So we'll start off with our first game, Drockward. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click Start, um, and each user will uh, enter the generated code on their phone. Next, uh, they'll draw their own colorful avatar and pick a username. Uh, as users submit their profiles, their avatars will show up on the main screen. Uh, once everyone has submitted their profiles, one person will click start, and the web app will then send a random phrase to each person, and they'll have 60 seconds to draw their best interpretation of that phrase. Uh, once the minute is up, or all users have submitted their, their pictures, uh, the web app will then show everyone a, um, the picture, each picture one at a time. And for each picture, uh, each person will think of a phrase that they think best describes that, that picture. Uh, and once all those phrases have been submitted, uh, then two lists will show up, each a list on the web app and each mobile app. Um, and the, each person will click the, the item that they think was the original phrase. Um, at the end of the round, then all of the phrases, or the, the original phrase, the, um, the original drawing, and a list of scores will show up. Um, and at the very end of the game, the, the top three scores will be displayed. Um, and that's Drawkward. Um, and here's Christine to, to walk us through our second game, Pictionary. So we wanted to offer our users multiple game modes, so we included Pictionary for a more fast-paced drawing experience. So just like in Drawkward, you sign into a room, and then you can draw an avatar for your team. You also select the number of players for the team, and this will determine how many rounds there'll be. So once you press start, a 60-second countdown will begin, and then a random phrase will appear on your phone. Simply draw your best depiction on your device, and it's going to appear in real time on the browser. That way your teams can see it and make their guess. For every correct guess, just click got it, and then you get points. Or if it's too hard, just skip it, and then you'll get a new word. Once the countdown ends, it'll be the next team's turn, and this will continue back and forth until everyone's gone at least once. And then this browser will show the winning team. If you want to play again, just click quit game, and you'll go back to the main page to pick Drawkward or Pictionary for more fun. 
We had an amazing time developing the Drawcord application, and we would love to share it with you. If you're interested in trying it out for yourself, please feel free to reach out to us, and we'd be happy to walk you through the setup. Thank you for joining us. That was, that was pretty, pretty, that was pretty, was pretty impressive. impressive. I, um, I really got, I mean, Corsa, it took me a second to even snap out of the game. game. It's it, it, just, <laughs> just a lot of fun. fun. Yeah, the, one of the things that Drockward did really well is they created a, they managed to completely execute on something. They have created from start to finish something that is entirely usable that I think could be released on the, um, the App Store, honestly, tomorrow. And this has really manifested itself um, day to day here. Um, we've been taking breaks, actually playing their game <laughs> during uh, just when we're supposed to be working on our videos. Um, oh, so oh, was, that project that is really, really impressive. impressive. I think, I think it's, it's uh, uh, even the, 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 the art direction, direction for it was beautiful. So, um, yeah, you I'm a big thank fan. Thank Connie for that. <laughs> you what? You can thank Connie for that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She, uh, she made the pig in the cloud at the beginning. Right. Awesome. Yeah, I thought that was great. And doing your, doing your presentation in your own, own app is a presentation power move that I've ever seen. <laughs>